Slytherin. And I'm a PC. Oh, we're, we're doing houses. I'm Griffin Dan. And this is Nerdist News. Griffin a Slith here. Please stop saying that. Can't stop, won't stop. And we are ready to tell you all about this morning's big news. There's an eighth Harry Potter book. <laughs> and it's coming to you this July. Well, it's sort of the eighth Harry Potter book. It's the script to Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the two-part play coming to London's West End this summer that will serve as the official eighth story in the Harry Potter canon. Love that canon. The current draft, which will be used for previews, but probably rewritten before the show officially opens, will be published on July 31st for your buying plaisir. Harry exits stage left. Ooh. <laughs> Heavens to Muggletroid. Hufflepuff even. Of course, the play's script is not written by J.K. Rowling, but instead Jack Thorne, a well-loved British writer in his own right, who's worked on everything from Skins to the stage adaptation of Let the Right One In. Now, Rowling does have story credit, though, and considers this the eighth chapter in Harry Potter's story, so, like, whatever, man. It's a fish. Ugh. Gryffindors, am I right? So cash. Disgusting. No points for him. It's nothing short of a tragedy that this won't really be the eighth Harry Potter book. That's a matter of opinion. Well, we do know for sure the story will be thematically rich, following adult Harry as an overworked employee of the Ministry of Magic, trying to balance work with raising three kids. Yeah, one of whom's name Scorpius. <laughs> is it? Yeah. He named one of didn't he? Or was that uh, Draco's kid? I don't know. Scorpius is a, it's like, Scorpius, I don't no. <laughs> it, the names are so dumb. Gryffindors, am I right? Oh, you Slytherin piece. Oh. He'll be trying to balance work with three kids while his son Albus simultaneously deals with life in his father's shadow. Together they'll encounter some kind of something that's from Harry's past while Dobby. Let's get a Dobby. Dobby. <laughs> while learning the uncomfortable lesson that sometimes darkness comes from unexpected places. Like a root of asphodel or your co-worker Kyle Hey, Hill. hey, hey, not all Slytherins are evil. That's a common misconception. <laughs> oh really? Name one non-evil Slytherin, well, Mr. Hill. Well, this really chill bro named Chet that I know is like totally young fresh. Ch are you talking about Chet Hayes, Tom Hanks' rapping son? I'm a big drip. Ooh, I thought he was a Hufflepuff. Well, anyways, what do you guys think? Are you gonna buy the Cursed Child script? Will you consider it the eighth Harry Potter book, even though it technically isn't written by JK? Would you ever judge a good friend for being sorted into a house that maybe has some baggage, even though you know they're totally a good fresh bro? What is your Patronus? Mine is a venomous, venomous bat. Mine is a horde of bats, perhaps a spider that erupts with bats instead of webs. Kind of like a mechanical thing like in Wild Wild West, but oh. helmed by a bat person. You best not miss when you come at Jim West. And it's going to be a gang rush, bro. Is that? I think it was bum rush. Bum rush, that's it. Let's discuss. Take a step to your left, please. There you go. All right, I'm good. Cha-cha, yeah. Cha-cha, real smooth. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, it's sorry like, about it's this like internet. a bad one person play, like, oh, it didn't see you there. Mm. Oh, are you the audience? My grandma was so crazy. Until she died from polio. She died as she lived, crippled with polio. Let's live that moment in a night of one man theater. <laughs> hey, Dan, is there a new Dan cave today? Oh, you better believe it, Kyle. With Deadpool coming out this weekend and Valentine's Day right around the corner, I'm talking about the weirdest three-way in Marvel history. Not three-way, that's a weird word. It's like a love triangle. How do they bang death? Oh, you'll find out. They straight up bone. Because she's a skeleton. Anyway, it's death, Thanos, and Deadpool. What happens? Tune to the Dan Cave to find out. Now, Kyle, yeah. you got a sick Because Science dropping tomorrow. Is that true? Ooh, tomorrow on Because Science, we're tackling probably the, the most accessible scientific question you can ask about Deadpool. How does his awesome healing factor work? I think I figured it out. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I, I know the canonical reason, but I'm eager to hear the science behind why Wade grows back into such weird ways. Yeah, he's kind of like a living tumor. Ooh, yeah. he should name himself the living tumor. And don't worry, guys. Jessica will be back as soon as she can figure out how to resort, how to reverse that app. I have got motor mouth. Flubbadibus. Flubbadibus? <laughs> Jessica's gonna be counts. back soon. She accidentally disapparated, even though there's no apparating or disapparating within the grounds of Nerd Wars. So keep checking nerdist.com for all your Nerdist news needs. Until then, Expelliarmus! <laughs>